Hello and welcome back to another episode of Learning Feed the Beast. I have been caving in between episodes. Check this out, Jess. Look at all these resources that I've gathered. Oh, that's pretty good. I've been using the macerator and then our electric furnace as well. We've got some refined iron smelting at the moment for machine blocks and I've also crafted myself some rubber boots. These were really cheap and um, if you're in the water and you're drowning you don't take any damage and you can also fall down from really high heights without taking any damage and uh, show you that now. Have you got any yet? No I don't. You should definitely get some. Watch this. I'm gonna climb all the way up to the top here. I've done this a moment ago. It was cool. And then I can sprint off the edge. Oh I missed the hole. But yeah you don't take any damage. It's really cool. <laughs> huh. Are you sure you that negates uh, drowning damage? Because I thought that was another item. That was something I was told it does do uh, by an host. Mm. And I think he was reading a wiki or something so I don't know I think know the, uh, the scuba that. helmet does that. But I don't think the boots do that. That wouldn't make any sense. Oh, I missed again. Oh well. <laughs> so what, what are we going to be doing this episode? Um, so in this episode we want to get a more permanent source of power generation. So um, I'm not actually sure which one we're going to use because you, you said you weren't sure either. So I'm going to look up the different ones and we'll decide from there. Okay. Well, I wouldn't mind building a couple of different ways of doing it just to show the audience that there's you know, a variety of options. Um, All right. Because uh, we didn't we go and look at the what's this oh. guy doing here? Get away. <laughs> the water mill wasn't it in the previous episode? We had a look at that, and then you recommended using the solar panel. So um, yeah, we could perhaps build either of those. I don't know. It's up to you. I could do both of those and then some. So I mean, it, it just depends. So all right. So what I what I think we should do instead of building the generators to start off with is we should build what's called a bat box. That way we have some energy storage for you. Okay. And uh, instead of generating energy directly into your machines, you're actually storing your energy elsewhere to where you don't have to have your generator running all the time. Okay, that's cool. So I can just right. dump a bunch of coal in there after I've gone mining, and then it will store it all for me. Yep. That would be great. Okay, so you, it's called a bat box, right? Yep. Let's have a look. Okay, so we're going to need to make some batteries, a copper cable. Uh, let's have a look at that. And okay, so I should have plenty of this. I need two copper cables with some rubber around them. Oh no, wait, you craft the ones with rubber around them with three in a row, I think. Yeah, I remember how it goes. There's a lot of crafting to do on this, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Like, there's always everything you craft has to be crafted out of a few other things. We're going to get six of those. No, okay, apparently I can't remember how to do this. Um, you just put the rubber on top of the uninsulated cable. Oh, is it only on top of? Yeah, it's a shapeless recipe. So. Nope. <laughs> okay, I'm going to look that one up quickly. Um, there it is. Oh, we use uh, copper ingot. I'm using the wire. Okay. Yeah, well, no, you can put... No, no, no. Oh, Take, um... I get you. I get you. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I picked it up. Okay, so I've put it just direct. There we go. Oh, <laughs> so simple. <laughs> right, and then now I've forgotten every other recipe already. I think it was we needed some tin around. Oh, the other two tin have tin. gone. Oh yeah, I took those and I I macerated them. That way, they're going to be like the other tin, so where they're not different color. Oh right, okay. I I wondered like why they were a different color and also where I got them from. Because you can't smelted them. Well, oh, okay, maybe God, you yeah. didn't do it or maybe you picked them up or something. But uh, if you smelt them straight in the furnace, they'll be whatever tin they were when you picked them up. But if you macerate them and then smelt them, they'll yeah. always be the industrial craft tin. Ah, uh, got yeah, okay. So yeah, we need tin around that. Some redstone. And then we can make the bat box. Right. Um, but it needs to charge. It needs the charged up one for the bat box, right? Oh, it needs three of them. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think they need to be charged now. Okay. All right. Let's make a few more of those then. Two. Okay. So we've got three of those. 
just such a good idea to have this like crafting thing built in. This game would be a nightmare without that. You'd be ever, you know, switching over to some uh, well, other thing. Oh, that was it. Copper cable. The, the reason, the reason that I know most of the recipes that I know is because this thing didn't exist before. <laughs> so ah, so you didn't have to re rely, rely on it, so you remember it all. Um, yeah. So you're gonna put this bat box behind the generator. Well, so what I was going to do is I was going to remove your generator here um, okay. and then build your storage behind this wall. But then at the same time, this wall kind of needs to be redone as well. Okay, um, yeah. But we'll leave it, we'll leave it um, uh, shape for now and uh, empty out this back area here so we have a little bit of room to work with. Okay, cool. Let's get a torch down in here. Oh. There we go. There. Is that enough? Um, yeah, that should be good. And then also, do you have... Do you have any diamonds left? No, I don't. I use them on That's my fine. pick and uh, enchanting table. That's fine. Alright, so we'll just use the copper insulated cable to do this. Okay. Alright, so if you want to... Well, do you have any on you or should I... I'll just yeah, I've got some. two. Yeah, we're going to need more. Okay. Oh, I have some rubber here, I'll put it back in the chest. Do you want me to make another one of these bat boxes? I've only got one, by the way. Yeah, uh, we're gonna we're gonna probably want two in total. Okay, so I'm trying to remember these recipes. We got tin, redstone, and then wire on top. And to make that we need two oh I put the rubber away again. It must get a bit um, crazy having so many new items, like such a large range of items, and then your inventory is still ever so small. Yeah, to hold that's them um. There's actually um, different bags that you can grab that that can carry items. Um, some of them aren't actually in the game just yet because we're waiting for equivalent exchange to be added. Um, but there are storage upgrades um, for your inventory, basically. That's cool. That's going to be very handy. So I think I'm going to make six batteries. Three, four, five, six. And then we can make... Yeah, another two of those boxes. Two. See, I like this. By doing these over and over again, you slowly start to remember them better. There we go. Okay, I've got three bat boxes. Alright, cool. So we're going to come back here and I'm going to line up. This is the way that I want to do the wiring for this. So we're going to have basically two rows of machines. So we'll move move the machines either up or down. Okay. And then uh, I'm just, I just wanted to show you that. So I'm going to pull these off so we're not actually connecting anything. And I'm going to put a... Um, go ahead and place the battery box here. Yep. And have the output face facing where I'm at. Or do you know about the output face? I do not know. Um, but okay. I'm assuming... It's going to face me when I place it down, yes. right? So mm -hmm. I want to stand here and then mm -hmm. like that. There you go. And then if you look here, I'll put, oops, sorry. If you remove this, you can see there's a little dot there, and that is the output face of the ah. bat box. I was okay. I was curious as to what it would look like. Yep. So we're going to want another bat box right there with the output face in the same direction. Okay. Uh, do I place it on this block, not where yes. the block is? Got you. And then... Oh. No. There you go. No, it went. It oh, just okay. sometimes they they rotate after you place them, so it's weird. Uh, but yeah, so then the output face is there, and basically these will power each row of machines independently. Got you. And then um, what I'm gonna have you do is put another one right here where this cobblestone block is, yep. and have uh, well Oop. actually place it on that to where the output face. Yeah. No, it won't. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to put a cable here. So now this bat box is connected to these two. It's it's nice. connected to the input of both of those. And then these two are independent of each other. And they'll power each row of machines once we get them That's set up that way. Very cool, that is. <laughs> and there we go. So the next thing we're going to need to do, of course, is to move the machines to where they need to be. So are we, are gonna we go going to move the generator around to the back as well? Yeah, we will do that. But uh, don't break... No. Ooh. Okay. Oh, right as you said it, I think I remembered you said they have a 1 in 16 chance of changing, okay, don't so they? Okay, if so you, if you break it with your pick, 99% yep. of the time it's going to turn into one of those blocks. Um, 
right? If yeah. you break it with a wrench, you have a 1 in 16 chance of it turning into that. But 15 out of 16 times, you'll get your machine back. Yeah. So now we have to recraft that macerator, I believe that was. Do you have and, a spare uh, copper cable on you? I just used all of them, but I can okay. make one real quick. Make... Alright, you make one of those. I'm going to grab... Oh, where did I put my refined iron? Oh, it should be in your um, furnace, unless you pulled it out. Oh no, I didn't pull it out, did I? Okay. Almost at level 30. Um, so it was refined... Oh, thank you. Actually, I'm going to have to look it up again. <laughs> so, macerator. Electronic circuit. Redstone. Okay, that's easy. Redstone. Refined iron. And then cables all around it. And then it was... I like the way it keeps um, what you what you're doing on the right hand side your search term because it makes it very easy to quickly switch between the two then so we need two flint please tell me I have some flint <laughs> oh I do there we go that's something I don't want to go looking for about now yeah uh, so what was it was it two flint or three it was three, three flint what did I say off. what did I say three it was <laughs> two cobblestone and three flint oh it's been a long day <laughs> right, and then we've got the machine block in the middle, electronic circuit, and there we go, we've got a macerator back, so right, so how are you going to move them then without a wrench? Do you know how to craft I was going to have you make a wrench. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, place it y anywhere you want. Yeah, there you go. And, uh, I'm glad you said anywhere you want there, because you started saying that after I put it down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, and then we're going to move the extractor as well. So another thing about these machines is yep. uh, if they have an item in them and you remove them, they well. So I'm not sure if this is still the case, but they used to basically delete whatever item that was, and you never get Got it back. Yeah. So I always just pull them out just out of habit. Yeah, I uh, I didn't check, so I don't know if we lost anything or not. Yeah, um, but uh, all right. So the next thing we're gonna do is if you search for a wrench in your little, I am already car, on it, and I have built the wrench. Uh, which one did you build? There's like four. <laughs> Don't tell me that. I built the first the one on the list. Oh. <laughs> we need the orange one on the far right. Okay, yeah. And that is bronze ingot. Um, don't think I have any bronze. Uh, that's fine. So to make bronze, you need three pieces of copper and one piece of tin. Um, there's actually two ways. You can actually do it with copper dust and tin dust. Yeah. And then make copper ingots by smelting them. But it's actually easier just to grab three copper and one tin. So you're going to need... Six copper and two tin in total to make that wrench. Okay. Wait, do I craft these together? Craft what? How do I how do I make sorry, I'm trying to make bronze. Okay, so there's three copper. there's three copper in the top uh in the left hand side, the top left and the top. Right? And then there's a tin in the bottom right. Of a yeah, four uh two by two rather. Got ya. Okay, excellent. So I've got four of those and need we need eight. one more. <laughs> yeah. You did, <laughs> you did tell eight. me. You did just tell me how many I needed. I didn't listen, did I? It's alright. I forgive you. There we go. So, what's the other wrench for? Is that going to be useful to me anytime soon? That's, yes, it will. Um, that's great. It's, that's for um, build craft. And it's for reorienting pipes and stuff like that. And okay. that's something we'll get into probably in a couple episodes. And so. We've, we've been looking at the mod industrial crafts so far, right? Yeah, this is all industrial craft, everything we're doing right now. Okay, cool. So go ahead and right click. Yep, there you go. Oh, and there was rubber in that and it gave it to you. <laughs> yeah, it did. Um, <laughs> I right click to open it as it goes, just to check if something was in it oh. or not. <laughs> and it doesn't work with the wrench. So I'll just put this down the bottom now, yeah? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Um, shall I do the same thing on the electric furnace? Sorry, um, the electric furnace, the generator. Yeah, the, you go, go ahead and do that. Okay. Got and it. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to go back here and go ahead and place that um, right on top of that cobblestone block. Okay, cool. And so I can uh, see what's going to happen here. It's going to transfer the energy into that box. Then that's going to transfer them into these two where they'll be stored. Yep. And then when these machines want them, they're going to go through the wires. Mm -hmm. yep. Very cool. <laughs> so. Um, I guess we can throw something to burn in there. I'm gonna throw. Oh, there's plenty coal. of coal. Yeah. Yeah, I'll throw it in here, and then you can go ahead and watch. Um, so I can even chuck wood charge. and stuff like that in there, can't I? Yep. Is that right? Yeah. If it's got that message saying uh, EU per item. 
Yeah, Energy and someone is. actually posted in your comments. There was a there was a guy that was pretty clever, and um, you can make from from like twelve pieces of wood, you can make sixteen of these. Uh, I, I think they're called scaffolding, um, and basically each of those sixteen is worth the same as one piece of wood. So you actually will get more energy output from that. Ah, I see. That's clever. So you use a bit of crafting, and then you can make more energy out of the wood. Yep, that's nice. That is. But yeah, so these 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 front battery boxes will be charging up, and then once they're full, the batter, back one will charge up. Yeah. And so I've noticed that the one at the top is taking more energy than the one at the bottom. Or well, that's because these these machines actually all have an internal um, capacitor to where they hold a oh, tiny yeah. amount of energy, so they actually pulled that out of the this got bottom you. one here. That's why the top one has more, because it's only got one thing attached to it. Okay, that's cool. Yep, and the one thing that's attached already had its capacitor charged, so... Nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so what do we do now? Um... Okay, so now that we've got that done, we, we're going to look into the other forms of energy generation. Um, also, I'm going to block up some of this stuff because it's really ugly looking to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, uh... Oh, just going crazy here. All right, so um, one of the things that I, I would like to make is a solar panel, but the solar panel has some intermediary steps to building it. Um, if you go and look at it, you can see it it takes some crazy stuff to make it. Um, these silicon which, cells. Which are one made. are we looking at, by the way? There's two or there's the several. one on the far left, <laughs> top left. So glass, silicon, carbonite generator. Yeah. And then so we can circuits. build the electronic circuits, although that keeps changing. So you can use any of these yeah, any strange of things. Um, so um, we'd need to find raw carbon fiber, uh, coal dust. Is yeah, that coal got dust from? Is easy to get. Oh, so we can do that with coal. Like, um, let's do that now. Uh, yeah, you're gonna need eight coal in total. Excuse okay. me. Or actually, maybe sixteen. You're gonna need sixteen. Sorry. I'm I'm thinking the mix reader is gonna double your coal, but it's not. <laughs> so okay, that's it is one. I had no one. idea you could do that. Yeah, coal dust is actually only useful for that, so don't masonry more than you need. All right, okay. I was I was just about to ask what else um, it's used for. Yeah, like, can you make coal middle. ingots or something? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> okay, so that's um, that bit taken care of then. Um, so we'd also right. need silicon. The most difficult part is going to be the silicon, because we have to like use this thing called the industrial centrifuge, Yeah. and it takes a ton of energy to use. Um, this is added by a mod called Greg Tech, which essentially makes a lot of the industrial craft a lot harder to do. Yeah. So I like that. Yeah. I do. I like things to be challenging and take time so that, you know, the reward is worth it, if you like. So we're gonna have to find a fair amount of lapis by the looks of this. And we have to build one of those things as well. Well no, we actually don't need that much lapis. Um oh wait, maybe we do. We need 59. Yeah, so we're going to need a little over a stack, actually. So lapis. just looking looking at this industrial centrifuge, we would need a ton of lapis, then we would need uh, all these different types of cells that are around it and some aluminium dust as well, or is that... Those are like... output slots. All the arrows point to the outputs. Okay. So there's one input and like several outputs, and then there's the cells, which are in the top left, that are required, I'm pretty sure. So... That lazarite dust would make us some silicon cells. Right. Okay, but then we'd also need to build one of these things, so let's see what that costs. Dust and you'll see or... why I didn't want to do the solar panels right away. Because everyone in the comments is like, do solar panels, they're the easiest thing you can make. Oh, wow. <laughs> they're not. Okay, so um, advanced machine block is something we'd need for that as well. So that would mean carbon. And another thing to look at too is when we do that, it says it's going to take like 120,000 EU. Um, yeah. Just to give you some perspective, each piece of coal is only 4,000. Okay. So that's a I ton. Mean, <laughs> it it really is, and uh, that's why I didn't want to do solar panels first. But people in your comments were saying we should, and I just wanted them to see for sure. Well, like, I've got a feeling we can pull this off. Uh, because we can build the industrial centrifuge, um, the advanced machine block, uh, carbon, we can get that easy. Machine block easy, so advanced alloy takes mixed metal ingots, which 
I think I've got enough of those as it is, so we can make them. Uh, although we need a rolling machine. Okay. <laughs> it's getting yeah, more I... complex. Let's have a it's... look. Yeah. Uh, so we'd need to make... That's really easy to make the rolling machine. That's pistons. Yeah, that also requires another type of power we haven't touched yet, so... Oh, okay. You know, so it's it, powered by something else. It's powered by um, what's called... Oh, I don't know what it's called, actually. I can't remember the name of it. It's powered by another type of energy, which is which is what you get in Buildcraft. Yeah. And uh, we don't have any Buildcraft items yet. Although we can make... Let me look, actually. I don't know if we have enough. We can w make what's called an electrical engine. Oh, although we need tin, which we can't get. Oh, wait, no. Oh, maybe we should something. just build the water mill for now, then. Yeah. That you showed us in the last episode. Yeah. That seems like a good idea. That's um, that's what I'd rather do. And it's right, re so real easy to make. You just need a load of water mill, right? The water mill blocks. And then yeah. put them in a setup where they've got flowing water around them. Yep, and a ton of iron. <laughs> and it's as simple as that, though, right? Yep. Um, so do you have to wire them up with anything? It looked like you had something to connect all of them together. There's, a, um, there's what's called a ultra-low current cable, which is actually the same thing as a copper cable. You just make it with tin. Um, now, I guess this would be a good time to get into how the energy actually travels through these wires and what the limitations are. Okay. Um, so the energy will travel through these wires in packets. And the packets have a certain size. So if you right-click on one of these bat boxes, you can see the output says 32 EU per tick. That oh, also yeah. means each packet that it sends out is 32 EU. So if you think of that as being 32 EU wide, these copper cables can only take up to 32. But say we had two bat boxes that were both outputting 32. Yeah. Since they're both only outputting packets that are 32, copper cable can still hold that amount of energy. Okay, but if it was more, it wouldn't be able to transfer it. Right, it would or, actually break your cables, and okay. you could end up with some crazy stuff. So, um, now the ultra low current cable can only handle one EU per tick. So you can have you know fifty of those water mills since they only output one EU per tick. But ah, okay, they're they're not actually overloading the cable because they it's still only one. So right? for each one that we build, we can tell how many uh, how long it's going to take to fill up our bat box because if we build ten, then we're going to get. Uh, 10 EU every tick going into our bat box, right? Right. Oh, that's nice. Well, yeah, we can do that then. That should be fairly simple. All right. So we're going to go ahead and hollow out this area here and get it ready for our little water tower that we're going to build. Okay, cool. Okay, this looks ready for us to build the water mill. Yep. So everything here should be good to go. I'm actually just going to layer the bottom of this real quick with okay. cobblestone, except for this side here, because this is where we're going to put our cable to output the power. Okay, I'm going to start crafting all of that. I've got all the materials ready. So we need to make um, some ultra low current cable with tin. Got loads of that. And what was the other one? The water mill. Yep. Okay, that's easy enough. Got all of that ready as well. Uh, except my inventory has shuffled itself around. <laughs> when did that happen? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not too sure about that. Oh no, I think I've missed Sync here. Yeah, I have. Um, generators in the middle. And I have just electric furnaces. Yeah, I've missed a step. I need to turn that into a generator. So, more refined iron is what I need. Let's go grab that quickly. Right, refined iron across the middle. Uh, what was it? Batteries at the top. Those at the bottom. One, two, three, four. Four generators. And that should be it. Yep, there we go. Water mill. Okay, so I've got eight water mills and 18 ultra low current cables. Alright, do you happen to have any bat boxes? I thought oh, yeah, I crafted one for you, yes. Okay, cool. So we're just going to put a bat box here with the output face facing the direction of that cable. Like that. There you go. Perfect. And then, do you have the ultra low current cable? Yes, go I do. Go ahead and crouch and right click the top of that block there. So when I there crouch, it's going to place it vertical. Is that what? Well, no, if you, when you crouch, it doesn't open the inventory of the bat oh, box. Ah, okay, got you. Yep. So. And then. Yep. 
You don't need to crouch for that. Oh, yeah, good point. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's not where that goes but yeah so then we can go ahead and place the watermills around oh, this oh, you know what? It. i think i know why yeah there we go and um, then the watermills go square around it yeah or yeah the else. only problem is we're gonna have if we put a watermill here yeah. it's gonna connect to that cable there so um i'm actually gonna go ahead and break this bat box there we go and we're gonna put it facing downwards like this to where the output faces out the bottom and then I can wire it a little bit. Oh, okay, clever. Yeah, that way we don't connect them because we don't want that. All right, cool. So I'll place these down and they'll attach. Uh, can I put a block below that? Yeah. Okay, do that quick. Oh, there you go. Oh, and hold shift and I can play. That is brilliant. That is holding shift. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I didn't need to place that one on top, did I? No, that's fine. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a little edge here. So, um, and then a little way to get in. And then go ahead and place the water bucket right on top of that top cable there. Okay. Oh. No, I can't seem to jump. There's a block above me. There we go. And there we go. Cool. So now that bat box is going to forward all of its energy into here. And uh, you should see these things slowly gaining power. Now... Water mills are not the most powerful energy source, but they are a good renewable source because they'll never run out of power. That's very true. Now, I'm thinking like crazy industrial already. Like, what if you were to to build this light to the sky limit? Is that going to um, be Actually, any good? you're limited based on the distance of this low current cable. Ah, um, but, okay. you, I mean, you could. It would just take a ton of resources. You could build so, an array of them as well. So, I, I yeah. take it there's going to be things that are more efficient. Yes. Yeah. But that's but, cool. Uh, well, yeah. there we go. We built our first little power source. Built some bat boxes. This is very cool. We're storing up some energy. Well then, um, thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.